Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Athena and I put out new videos on Thursdays and every other Monday. I'm thinking of changing that to Mondays and every other Thursday. I did a poll on it. A lot of you guys said yes, but I just don't know. <clears throat> Hi, I feel like I should take this off. I actually have a shirt on underneath it, which is nice. Cause as I mentioned in my last video, I literally look the same in every video, but I swear I film on different days. <laughs> I just think a robe is comfortable. Always eyes first. So I have quite a few palettes. I think I have five, but I've had this one the longest and I really need to use it so that I can see whether I'm going to keep it or not. I bought this last year when all of these like glitter shadows were like the f ish and i bought a whole palette of just these shimmers and i freaking hated them many brands make this exact product which is with their name on it this particular brand is jolie beauty luxe glitz this shit was still like 50 bucks so um yeah. Anyway, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one isn't new to me, but this shade is new to me. The shade is number five. Normally, I wear shade 15. The reason why I ended up getting this color instead is because um, it was $3. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. Real, real light though. So I don't know about that. Um, brush. I'm going to use the Nude by Nature Large Shadow Brush. So we're just going to blend that in. I always do eyes first. Just because of fallout. And I don't know. Sometimes, like, I am not particularly neat especially on the outer corner area. I literally just do whatever. So because of that, sometimes like I drag it too low. There's really not many options. There's just like one light option and then just dark. So I think it's like this goes with this, this goes with this, so on and so forth. But I don't, I really don't know. So I guess I'll just take the lightest color for now, I guess. This is a Nude by Nature highlighting brush. I've swatched this just because uh, like when I first got it, I put it on my Instagram. A little tip, if you have slightly hooded eyes, if you do your eyeshadow like this, always just do a little check and put your head forward and look straight ahead because then if you still have color above that crease area, then you're good. If it kind of just disappears into the socket, you need to go back in and bring your shadow higher. I do have slightly hooded eyes. I've just kind of realized within the past like year or two, I did not know that I had them before. So this color is really nice actually. It's blending well. It's not splotchy. There is pigment there. I'm gonna take a skinny blending brush. This is the Luxie 231 Small Tapered and I'm going to take this brown color under the crease. And into socket I'm gonna go back in with that pink this color is definitely a little bit more splotchy Morphe M330 brush into this color and we're going to put that on the outer corner and sweep in and we'll see what we'll see what we get here. I 
I mean, that looks patchy to me. Okay, um, maybe I need to dense our brush and then to blend it. This is a tapered blending brush. It's definitely not by Nude by Nature. It's really dense, so I'm just going to pack that on, I guess. And we'll take that first brush again and actually we'll dip into the pink and just a little bit of that, that one. I will keep you guys updated if this stains my eyes. Okay, well, I feel like this might be as good as we're gonna get here with this. Definitely gonna need a glitter glue, I think, for these. So this isn't new, I've had this for a while. I'm just going to use the NYX glitter glue. And I'll use that with a Lexi 245 small shader. This is a Nude by Nature lip brush, and I'm just going to, oh god, this is not going to work. It's really not picking up too much on my brush. I also really don't want to actually dip my finger into this product because I remember when I swatched them, they leave like way too much product on the fingers and it's just a pain to wipe off and stuff and I just can't be bothered so. Okay, moving on to face, I am just going to moisturize an SPF moisturizer. They don't make this exact one anymore. They redid the packaging and the formula. This one I think is now in a jar, it only comes in a cream. Um, I use something different for nighttime. This is the Neostrata Moisture Infusion and then also the Garnier SPF 60 SPF. And then I'm just going to put a little, a few drops into my moisturizer. I do this for a few reasons. The first reason is I am on an acne product that makes me sensitive to the sun. You should also use SPF if you use retinols, glycolic acid, lactic acid, vitamin C, like all that stuff you should absolutely be using SPF with. I really hate, I really, really hate when I really try to emphasize that when people are like, oh yeah, like I've just heard retinol is amazing. And it's like, yeah, retinol is amazing, but it really, really irks my soul when people come back with sun damage for example when like literally on the packaging it will say warning may cause sensitivity to the sun and then you come back and say oh well i went to this store and they never explained that to me number one don't you read the packaging before you use it on your face probably not obviously clearly not but number two then when we do emphasize that and you ignore it like i some people really don't care, and I'm just like, you know what, whatever. What are we doing next? Primer, primer, primer. Oh, I wanted to try this one. This one is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer Base. Chamomile green tea ginseng root extract to create the perfect canvas to give your skin a radiant boost. Okay. I don't really know what. It is kind of strong. So, it is a little tacky, if you care. Foundation, I have used this one time. So this this is her last chance or she she got to go. This is the I did this for a full face NYX video. This is the NYX I have glitter all over my hands. This is the NYX HD Studio foundation. This is in the color nude. I don't really remember my thoughts about this, but I remember something about the color. The color being too dark or too light or something like that. I'm just going to apply a little more on my problem areas, which is like my whole face. 
no mainly just like my cheeks i'm just going to conceal i think now again i'm just going to use the maybelline fit me in the color five okay i have two powders i have the cover effects translucent light and the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow for under eyes. I'm going to use the what do you call it? Cover Effects. So many people love this powder, but I didn't want to commit, so bought the little one. And I'm just going to take a Morphe M438 and just kind of. Blend the excess away. I'm gonna take this brush. This brush is so old. Got it from icing. I have both of the powders open. I'm going to dip in one, tap off, dip into the other, tap off. And then I'm just going to set the whole face with that. Okay, I'm gonna do eyebrows. I don't have anything for eyebrows actually now that I think about it, so I'm just going to do that off camera. So I guess we'll do bronze or maybe. Okay, I, I'm gonna try this one. I bought this quite a while ago, still haven't tried it. So, bitch, it's time. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze. This is a NYX 5 brush. And we're just gonna we're just gonna do one swirl around. I'm just gonna get a different, more fluffy brush for my forehead area. I'm gonna do this one. This is just a powder brush. Because girl, we have a big forehead, so we really need to bronze that. I have my dad's forehead. I have my dad's eyes. I have like actually like, eyeball. Eye shape. Hmm. So I feel like I have like my I have a big eyes like my father, but like my actual eye shape I find more like my maybe a mix I guess actually. Nose is like my dad i think you know big <laughs> i picked up the huda beauty 3d highlight palette i'm gonna take it on a morphe m510 everyone loves this brush i still prefer the m501 I just like, I have a small face, so I think that's probably why, honestly. I just like it's a bit more tapered and it's a bit shorter. So I just honestly prefer this one, but everyone loves this one and I try, I try, but I'm gonna mix um, Capri and Santorini. Is anything happening here? Oh, yep, something is happening here. <laughs> so I like to do my highlight before blush just because sometimes the highlight can really be like a lot. I just find doing it this way, like it just blends into the skin a little better. I'm just going to bring that just to the tail of the brow and then swing it back in and really hit the top of the actual cheek. I love doing that because then people from front on can see the highlight and then from side profile as well. <gasps> I didn't bake. <sighs> Idiot. <sighs> oh my god, it's so messy. Maybe we'll do the Lise Boutier one. Um, I'm gonna take, this is a limited edition one, I'm so sorry. I think this was from the fall collection. And then I'm going to take that on a uh, Luxie 522 It Tapered. It's a highlighting brush, but that's really big. I chose this brush because it doesn't pick up too much. 
product. And I'm just gonna give it a little smile. Okay, I need to decide like what lip I'm doing because there's a lot going on in the eyes. I have this one. This is L'Oreal. I forget what they're called already. 416 I Create. Okay, so I'm going to maybe try to nude it out a bit. This I'm pretty sure I bought because of um, Juicy Jazz here on YouTube. It looked beautiful on her. This is Baddest Beige. This feels really nice. It's super thin. But maybe I need to apply a bit of this on top. No, I don't like it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I'm going to take this off. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to my tried and true. This is like whenever I don't know what to wear, this this is always it. So this is a L'Oreal Spicy Blush. Alright, that's a bit better, but... I still don't feel like it's perfection. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to have to wait and don't forget to subscribe and like and also turn on your post notifications before you go and we will check you out in our next video right you <laughs>